Hello guys, welcome to one of my favourite videos ever. It's time to spend a perfect 48 hours in the South African bush searching for the world's most incredible animals and eating truly amazing food. So we've just arrived at our little mountain lodge suite. Look at this place, it is incredible. We have a huge bed, our little wardrobe space. We've got a basket to take on safari with us when we go. We've got around here a whole mini bar section. We're doing all inclusive, so everything that's in here is free for us to drink. And then we've got spirits here that are extra if we want them. We've got teas, coffees, and then we've got a safe in here if we need it. Then we've got this lovely sofa, which I'm very excited to read a book here and look outside. We have arrived on safari in probably the worst weather. It is pouring with rain, but we don't mind. And here we've got our robes and look at this bathroom. Wow, wow, wow. To have a bath and to be able to look out at this incredible view. Look at that view. So we've got sun loungers and we've got a plunge pool. Let me see if I can get out here. Oh yes easy to get outside. So we've also got an outdoor shower, although the heavens are doing that for us just fine at the moment. And then we've got our deck chairs, we've got our little plunge pool, and then this is our gorgeous view from our mountain lodge. I mean, it's just stunning. We can look out all across the reserve and it is beautiful, 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 which is so nice. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have a bath in there. You have no idea. We've got our double sinks. This huge shower. Oh, I haven't even seen this tiling yet. Oh, it's so pretty. Our massive shower, bathroom, and that is our room. So we've just arrived, we've had lunch, and now we're gonna quickly get changed and then we're going to head back up to the main reception area and have some high tea, as they call it, or afternoon tea, if you're British. And um, we're gonna have some tea and then head out on our first game drive. Oh, so exciting. <laughs> Let me just turn down the music. We've got these really lovely speakers. Let me just show you. And it's so nice. We were able to hook it up to our Spotify. But anyway, that's me getting very distracted. Hello. So we just got back from our first game drive. Guys, <laughs> the weather sucks. I mean, honestly, it is pouring, pouring, pouring with rain. My hair is very wet, so I'm gonna get the hairdryer out in a second. But honestly, it was so fun and so lovely. I did not have a lot of footage to include because honestly, it was just pouring with rain. So I was kind of keeping my camera and my phone inside, but we actually saw some great stuff. I mean, honestly, we saw giraffe, we saw zebra, we saw like loads of impala and buck. We saw warthogs, we saw hippos. Oh my gosh, the hippos were so fun. We went to like this, watering hole and the hippos were so fun like there were little baby ones that were playing so we actually got to see them pretty well and then on the way back we also managed to see some rhino so we saw some white rhino which was so cool again i couldn't really get footage because it was really starting to get dark it's now fully dark so on the way back on the drive they get out this big spotlight thing and there's some animals they're allowed to like shine the spotlight on because they're naturally nocturnal they've got a particular lens on their eye that it doesn't like blind them and freak them out where, and there are some animals that they like can't shine the lights on because it would spook them and it interferes with them and obviously the whole thing is to just try and maintain the natural behaviors and the habitats of where we are completely we're literally just silent 
quiet observers. But anyway, yeah, it was so much fun. Pouring with rain, terrible weather, but it didn't spoil our fun whatsoever. So we've now come back. Cameron's now enjoying the outside shower because amazingly the outside shower is actually warm. I am not gonna shower now. I'm gonna literally just get changed and then we're gonna go for a drink in front of the fire. There's like a fireplace in the lobby bit, which looks so lovely. So I'm gonna get changed. We're gonna go for a drink in front of the fire before dinner, have a slightly earlier dinner, and then I am going to sink into that massive, incredible tub because wow, wow, wow. But yeah, I was also just gonna show you what I wore today because honestly, it was like absolutely perfect for safari. I just wore a white COS t-shirt underneath this, I mean, it's already coming undone, underneath this free people jumpsuit, which I will link if I can find it because it's so comfortable. I've had it for a couple of summers now and I just rate it so highly. Let me see if I've got a better. Actually, let me just pop you down and then I can show you it properly. But this jumpsuit is honestly 10 out of 10. Like it crosses over the back, so like it's quite cute when you don't need a t-shirt with it. I just wore a t-shirt underneath it because I thought it'd be warmer and I thought this was absolutely perfect for safari. So if it was like really hot and warm, I just wouldn't wear the t-shirt and I wouldn't need like a jumper over the top. I took a jumper with me, but I actually didn't need it, but I absolutely did need my raincoat. So I took like a raincoat. And actually I would recommend if you're coming in either autumn or spring, to just bring a like a pack -a mac raincoat thing that you can just scrunch up into a ball in your luggage, just in case you need to throw it on. But honestly, they actually had everything. They had binoculars, which were amazing to use because, oh, the quality of those binoculars was incredible. They had blankets to put over your knees. They had like rainproof ponchos if you needed them. There were drinks and snacks, which we were going to have whilst we were out on the drive. We were gonna stop somewhere and have drinks, but honestly the rain was so bad. We were like, let's just go back to the lodge and have our drinks there instead. So we did, we actually forgot to mention that. We came back and then on arrival, they had either hot chocolate or like a whiskey cider, depending on if you wanted like the alcoholic or non-alcoholic. So I had hot chocolate, Cameron had a whiskey cider, so both so delicious. We both tried both and yeah, they were lovely. But anyway, now Cameron is just getting out of the shower. I've just heard that stop. So probably gonna make a gin and tonic or two whilst we get ready. And then it's off for a drink by the fire before dinner. And look how lovely the lights are in here now that it's got dark outside. So we've had to close that. I mean, our ceiling is just incredible. Look at that. But yeah, only the lights that are on are these little side lights. And it just makes everything in here so, so cozy. This is what I'm wearing for dinner. A little jumper, cause it's a little bit chilly. Blazer, my Abercrombie trousers, which I love. safari we have literally just gotten up and got dressed in the process of getting out the door it is um well it's probably about quarter past six now our um our wake up time was quarter to six so 5 45 and yeah it's about quarter past six so we are running slightly late we need to get up to the top and we are heading out on our first drive at 20 past six which is very, very exciting. The weather is looking a little bit better today, which is good. We can see some blue skies peeking through, which is really nice. Let me see if I can show you. So I'm hoping that today I might be able to get some nicer footage 
of the animals, but yes. Do you know about you? Oh, you might not be able to see. The camera's not picking it up super well, but that is cloud and that is clear sky. Today I'm literally wearing a white t-shirt from Abercrombie. It's from their Soft Essentials collections and oh my gosh, it's so nice. And these mango trousers, which are linen and I mean, they crease a lot, but they are so lightweight and so comfortable. So kind of like a similar fabric to that, those free people trousers. And then because it's a bit chilly this morning, I'm just sticking like a big cardigan over the top. And then obviously I've got my rain jacket, which I'm gonna take with me and my little cap as well. And we're good to go. had a shower. <laughs> Camera's causing trouble as always. And we are now heading to lunch before we head out on our second drive of the day. But yeah, it's really nice to be able to have a couple of hours to just get some rest and have a sleep because we stayed up quite late and it was an early start, but yes, oh, it's so nice. And this is our walk from our room back up to the main lodge area. And it's so lovely. You're not allowed to walk back to your room at night without a guide because the resort, the what you call it, lodge, isn't fenced at all. So there could easily be animals sneaking and hiding around. But it is so so beautiful. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Thank you. 
got back from our final dinner, which was so pretty. It was called a, what was it called? A boomer? A boma. A boma, which was like the fire. <laughs> Not a boomer, a boma. <laughs> like the fire and everything, which was so nice. And we've just come back to our room and they've like set up this whole bar situation for us for our final night. There is a bottle of Amarula, which is like the local South African Bailey's, Bailey's basically. Um, which is so nice of them and a couple of glasses. And they've lit all of these candles around the bathroom, which is so sweet. So I'm definitely going to top this up with the rest of the hot water pour myself a glass of that and enjoy a bath before our final night. Sad, but also so nice. We are officially driving out of safari and we've been greeted by these guys on our final drive. Having some lunch. We are so close. Like literally. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Stopped again, and this guy is walking straight at us. Oh no, he's just stopped. Which so we can take his do? picture. Yeah, <laughs> so we can take his picture. <laughs> what are you thinking, dude? We are now on the road, fully, fully leaving and heading back to Durban. I just wanted to show you this goodie bag that they gave us as we were leaving, which was so sweet of them. We've just been rummaging through it all. We've each got a little bag of fruit and we've got some, I mean, let me see if I can show you properly. And we've got some dried pineapple in there for us to snack on our road trip. We got a little bottle of still water each. We got an apple each. And then we've also got a little bag of roasted corn each as well, which I just think is so nice. Truly, it was 10 out of 10. We stayed with and beyond in their mountain lodge and yeah, so cute. Honestly, wow. 
If you are looking for a very special trip, I can't recommend Pinder and Beyond highly enough. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have the very best week, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.